ladies and gentlemen, I've got another unboxing for you and this time it's not a plane and not a quad. It is a reactor, 2 times 300 watts, 20 amp, balance charger, discharger by Turnergy, Hobby King. Um, it came in an extra uh, cardboard box with a lot of uh, bubble wrap in it, uh, so uh, very well packaged. The box arrived unscathed, very nice, so let's see what's in it. And ah, the actual charger is again wrapped in bubble wrap. Okay, let's uh, take uh, everything out and show you what came with it. Okay, we got, we got a charger of course and as you can see it's a dual charger, uh, so uh, two chargers in one. Um, I think there's some protective film on the screen, no, I'll leave that on for now. Um, okay, on this side you see two fans and the power input cable which has uh, booted connectors and on the other side you have two se uh, sets of balance ports and of course two sets of output ports. Um, I already have uh, a single uh, charger reactor. Uh, that one came with USB ports and this one doesn't, that's weird. So it's not 100% uh, the same charger. It doesn't have uh, temperature sensor ports either. Is that right? Yeah. Not that I use them, but... Um, okay, so it's not 100% the same as the single times two. Um, Alright, uh, let's see. Uh, like I said, it has uh, booted connectors for input. It also comes with two alligator clips to hook it up to your car battery. That's nice. And um, what else came with it? Um, these are charge cables. To uh, If you uh, have a battery for which you don't have a connector, you can uh, clip it on like that. And it comes with two sets of uh, blank uh, charge cables. So you'll have to uh, solder up a uh, connector to those. The, uh, the connector of your choice, of course. Um, yeah, let's now uh, switch over to my charging station so I can uh, uh, run you through the menu system of it. Hold on. Alright, so we're at my uh, charging station and uh, as you can see this is the normal one charger version of the reactor 300. Uh, it's a bit uh, uh, narrower and of course it's uh, less deep. Um, once again uh, this one has an USB charging port and a temperature char charge, uh, temperature, sorry, temperature port. Uh, this one has neither of those. Um, but well, uh, let me uh, switch it on so we can run through the menus. Hold on. Okay, and uh, well, as you can see, you can uh, set um, different charge types ch uh, and rates for uh, both of the chargers. This one is now at uh, Lipo Charge, this one is now at NIM. Uh, let me change that. Oh. NIM. And what you might also notice is the auto over here. Uh, this charger or these chargers uh, automatically sense what kind of LiPo you connect to them. For instance, if I uh, hook up a 3S LiPo, there you can now see that the top charger uh, has determined that it is, is it a 3S LiPo, which it is. Um, that might not seem very important. Um, I found it to be very convenient and you can't um, accidentally choose the wrong type this way. So that uh, 
yeah that's that's really handy I like that feature uh, which is uh, partly uh, why I uh, bought this uh, second reactor okay uh, let's uh, go back of course you can uh, charge lithium batteries NIM NICAD uh, lead batteries and um, yeah this is uh, one point of note if you change settings in this charger they do not transfer over to this one they're really two separate chargers so if you change uh, any setting in this one um, and you want to also have that setting in this one you'll have to do it twice um, well let's let's actually go into the settings yeah um, you can with this uh, charger um, uh, set it up to charge your lipos to more than 4.2 volts which is uh, actually actually needed for some uh, newer high voltage uh, lipos so um, I think it's good to know that this charger can charge those higher voltage lipos and uh, what's more special modes let's go through those uh, you can uh, use it to drive a motor uh, probably a brushed motor in that case um, might be handy to break in a brushed motor a foam cutter yeah you can uh, hook up a, a foam cutting wire to this charger uh, set up the amperage and the voltage and uh, the, the minutes uh, you want to uh, use it for and then you can use this uh, charger to uh, run a foam cutter uh, yeah this is a good uh, uh, option uh, measure internal resistance it's nice to determine how the health of your lipo is what the health is and that's it okay yeah save settings load settings log files uh, to be honest I have never looked at the log files of my uh, other reactor I don't know you tell me would that be handy to use log files I don't know and then we're back at lithium okay if you start up um, it'll automatically start in balance mode uh, older lipo chargers uh, usually start in normal charge mode this this one uh, starts in balance mode which is a good thing I think and then you have your normal charge fast charge storage uh, this lipo DCHG discharge I don't know I think probably discharge I don't know discharge plus hmm? I sorry I do not know what this option does and cycle yeah that's nice if you uh, have an um, uh, a cell cell uh, voltage uh, difference uh, in some cases it helps to cycle the lipo a few times uh, basically what this does is it it'll charge and discharge charge discharge three times in this case a lipo monitor um, basically the same I think but I'm not sure as the, the lipo uh, health monitor and then we're back at the start okay uh, well that was my unboxing and a short demo um, if you have any questions about the charger uh, please let me know in the section below and I'll be happy to answer them bye bye